seven. No, six. Eh. February something. Six. situation check this out this is for all the people that believe floor is always sunny it's not yeah so this has been going on it's supposed to go on pretty much an entire day it's probably too well and um yeah so not cool you are way up on my face it can still see you yeah but it looks like you're like right in like close up, extreme close ups. It's not extreme close up, or else you, we can see your rosacea. I hope you can't see it all. I got makeup on. About 5:12, and church starts now at 5:30 because they changed the time beginning of January. So I don't like the new time because it's right during dinner time. So you have to either eat really early or eat really late. Us, on the other hand, we had leftover fettuccine from all that stuff from last night. So, um, yeah, there's downtown right there. So, yeah, so we're headed to church since we missed last weekend because the Def Lover concert was postponed, but we didn't know until it was too late to go to church. And so, hopefully, we'll be going to see Def Lover in a month or two. Um, but depends on when he gets better, I guess. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm still going uh, tonight with my son to see uh, Lavelle Crawford at the um, Orlando Improv. Um, matter of fact, I went on their website last night and found out that um, both of the shows scheduled for tonight were sold out. There's an 8 o'clock show and then our show's at 10.15. So they added another, there's an Amway. They added another show um, at 11.59 p.m. So, Lavelle is going to be doing three shows um, tonight. Um, the last one might get midnight. So, unfortunately, we're not the last show because, you know, whenever I go to a comedy show, I like to be um, the last show of the night because then they're not on a time schedule and they can, like, play longer. So, um... Now there's going to be another show after ours, so he's going to have to quit by a certain time. Which that really sucks because, you know, whenever you're the last show, you get some extra time um, with the, the comedy. So anyway, but this should be good. I'm hoping my son is sleeping right now because he worked last night. He had a Marine Corps drill this morning. And he was going to find out if he's um, ready to go in yet. And, uh, yeah, he was going to come home and go to sleep, and that's why we were going later tonight, because uh, he needed to sleep. So I'm supposed to pick him up at 8.30, and it, like I said, it starts at 10.15, but we have a little ways to travel to get to it. We're listening to gospel and Christian music on the way to church today. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's our day so far. Um, it was nice sleeping in, because it's Saturday, so I don't have to get up at 5 a.m., and uh, all that. Well, well, I'm off like um the 15th, but or something. Yep. You're off the 15th. How come? Yeah. I don't know. Probably a special day. Driving in Florida totally sucks. Did I tell them that we almost had another car accident? Oh, it's Washington's birthday on the 15th. Oh, okay. So Wednesday we were going to her therapy. Or was it Thursday? Thursday. Wednesday. Wait, no Thursday. Yeah, we were supposed to go Wednesday, but you were at the hospital. So Thursday. We were going to therapy and we were driving along, you know, minding our business. There was a car that um, was in front of us. It was a black SUV. Uh, so it decides to start turning to go to um, another lane or another street or something whatever but then it decides at the last second to like come back into the lane so here I am with this car coming right at me and so I veer off into the next lane because there was like three lanes 
and it was just a regular side street. It wasn't a highway or anything. So I veer off into the next lane and praying the whole time that there's no cars in the next lane because if there was, they would have ended us. And so, I mean, we came that close, way too close for a car accident because this guy, I mean, I don't know what is wrong with these people that drive. I know it's not just Florida, but we have some really bad ones here. But these people, they drive and they, um, they go from, uh, turning and then they change their mind and they just come right back without even looking to see if there's any cars and it's like really really so Allie and I are here on the way to therapy almost having a heart attack because as you know with our bad car accident that made me disabled and out of work um, anytime you get close to a car accident it scares the crap out of you because you know you're just like bracing yourself to be hit again and it's it's a terrible feeling it's like some PTSD kind of stuff you know so anyway um oh, this water's not lighting up at all we're almost to church and it's almost 20 after so hopefully by the time we park and get inside it'll just isn't singing a long time. I'm trying to get her to do some uh, some tags or whatever. Uh, 50 random things about me tag that I did months ago that she still hasn't done. I'm trying to get her to do that. I even offered to help her with the 50 things to think of everything. So hopefully we can get her to do that maybe um, by next week. But anyway, um, I'm going to get out of here for now because we're almost to church. And yeah, I still didn't get to listen to music. She hates you too because um, you can't play music because of copyright and third party content. Which I totally agree because I think that's the stupidest thing ever. And I think I already talked to you guys about that. How, uh, you know, um, I'm not making money off their music by playing their songs, but it's called exposure. And maybe someone that's watching the vlog might actually like it and buy it. So, how is that? hurtful to anybody because I don't know ask YouTube it doesn't make sense to me and be different if I was making thousands of dollars off playing their songs but it's just it shows what we like to listen to and makes the videos more exciting and you know someone just might purchase their their record from hearing it off the video so what is the problem I don't know YouTube well that's the life of a vlogger I guess <laughs> Guess what time it is? Yes, that says 1:54 a.m. Let me get Max here. Max, <laughs> I just recently got home uh, because Lavelle Crawford um, performed until 12:15, even though he had a 12 o'clock show that they added on and my son was starving and he didn't get any food at the club because the prices are way too high and it's way not good 
So um, we stopped at Wendy's drive through on the way back and I dropped him off and then came back home and was greeted by Max who Allie said was whining for me at the front door. Yeah. So anyway, hopefully that footage, I mean, I didn't get very good footage of Lavelle Crawford um, in the clips before this um, because they were actually charging people $5 to take a picture with him. So that kind of sucks because my son bought a t-shirt, a Lavelle Crawford t-shirt. I bought the DVD right here. You probably can't read it, but it says to share St. Louis, Lavelle Crawford. Um, this is his DVD. His family was there selling his uh, concert stuff. It's a 90 minute one, so it's cool. It's an hour and a half, so that's awesome. So I got the DVD, and my son got a shirt. We both had an awesome time. And my son's first experience with a comedy club, and he was cracking up. I kept looking back over. He was sitting next to me. We were in like the second section from the stage, so there's some tables right in front of the stage. And then we were in the next, there's a little row to walk through, and then we're right there. So we got really good seats. We were right there in the center. And uh, he didn't joan on us or anything. Um, he did mess with some people in the very first row. Um, but he didn't say anything to us during the show. So we were both cracking up. It was hilarious. At one point I was like crying, laughing so hard because he is one funny guy. If you haven't seen Lavelle Crawford, you can probably check him out on YouTube. Um, that's pretty much where I first seen him. I knew about him because he's also from St. Louis, but um, YouTube has um, some of his skits on there that you can watch. So check out Lavelle Crawford on YouTube. And um, I'm going to get off here because it is 1.56 in the morning. Um, first I want to show you what I've added to my project board so far. And it's just a little something. I have a lot of work to do on it. But here's one of my things that I put on here so far. Trust in the Lord and do good. So then of course the blank parts I'm going to add the stuff that I colored um, in as well. So that's what I got so far. Anyway, I want to go ahead and end this because it's so late. I'm going to try to edit a little bit tonight uh, before I go to sleep because I have to digest this food from Wendy's. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Bye.